They thought it was just another rock from deep space, a wandering interstellar object, harmless, quiet, drifting toward the sun. But then the James Webb Space Telescope captured something no one expected, a coma glowing deep red, symmetrical beyond natural explanation. No water, no tail, no familiar signs of a comet, only carbon dioxide released with mechanical precision. And now scientists are whispering something they never thought they'd say aloud. What if this isn't a comet at all? The last time something like this happened, it was Oumuamua, and that already sent shockwaves through the world of astronomy. But three Atlas, this one doesn't just challenge what we know. It rewrites the rules, and with every passing day it gets closer. What the James Webb Telescope has just confirmed about three Atlas is more than shocking. It's terrifying and no one, not even NASA, is prepared for what comes next. From the very beginning, Three Atlas stood apart from everything we thought we understood about interstellar visitors. Instead of a chaotic coma made of water vapor and dust, the Webb telescope detected something completely different. An enormous red sphere of gas nearly the size of the Earth-Moon distance, expanding evenly in all directions. The color wasn't pale or icy. It glowed with an ominous crimson hue. And most alarmingly, it wasn't water forming this halo. It was carbon dioxide and only carbon dioxide. At this distance from the sun, water should have been dominant. Every comet we've ever observed at this range boils off its water first, creating spectacular tails and jets that make even backyard telescopes buzz with excitement. But Atlas didn't follow that rule book. It seemed to operate under entirely different physics. There were no jets, no wild bursts, no sign of chaos at all. Just a slow, steady release of CO2, like something had turned on a switch and was now venting with quiet, eerie control. Astronomers turned their attention to the core, the solid nucleus at the heart of the coma, and what they found sent shivers down their spines. Early estimates from Hubble suggested the nucleus was tiny, barely 300 to 500 millimeters across. But when Webb and Spherex began scanning in near-infrared wavelengths, the intensity of reflected light didn't match those dimensions. Not even close. According to repeated models, the nucleus might actually be over 46 kilometers wide, making it larger than 90% of all comets ever observed. That kind of mass should have made Atlas obvious from the start. Its gravitational field alone could have distorted light from background stars, yet somehow it had remained invisible until now. How? Some scientists suggested the reflectivity might not come from the core at all, but from particles in the coma. But that theory fell apart when they analyzed the reflectivity curve. It was too smooth, too consistent. It looked engineered. A natural body should scatter light randomly. But this was symmetrical, polished, uniform, like a mirror made by intelligent hands. Every comet has a voice, and in most cases, that voice is water. As they approach the sun, frozen water turns to vapor, forming those iconic, glowing tails. But Three Atlas has remained eerily silent. Spectral data confirms that water is present beneath its surface. It's there waiting, dormant, but it's not emerging. Instead, just 4.5 kilos of water are released per second, a tenth of what's expected. One theory says the intense CO2 outgassing is acting like a thermal blanket, cooling the surface and trapping the water beneath. Another says the water is buried too deep, unreachable by solar heat. But here's the problem. Even those theories can't explain the consistency there are no cracks, no disruptions, no spikes in water vapor. Just one steady rhythm of CO2 over and over like a machine. And that begs the question, what if the absence of water isn't a coincidence? What if it's intentional? If an object defies everything we know about comets, shouldn't it be headline news? When Oumuamua was discovered in 2017, the world exploded with curiosity. Within days, it was all over the media, with Harvard scientists even suggesting it could be alien technology. But three Atlas, nothing. Silence. NASA's Spherex detected Atlas in August 2025. It captured the enormous red coma, the baffling lack of water, the strange reflectivity. But there were no press releases, no interviews, not even a tweet. The data was quietly buried on a blog post weeks later, as if it were routine, as if it weren't history being made. Some experts chalk it up to protocol. Others say it's about avoiding speculation. But more and more voices in the scientific community are starting to say what many are thinking. This feels familiar. This feels controlled. And if NASA is keeping quiet, maybe it's because they know more than they're saying. 
Three Atlas doesn't just look strange. It moves in ways that defy celestial mechanics. Its trajectory is not just interstellar. It's impossibly precise. Unlike traditional comets that are flung into our system by gravitational disturbances or passively drift along hyperbolic paths, Three Atlas seems to be following a calculated route, one that brushes just close enough to planets and solar radiation to collect data, but never so close as to be destabilized. When its projected path was reverse-engineered, astronomers were shocked. The object appeared to have made micro-corrections mid-flight, slight, almost imperceptible angular shifts that shouldn't be possible for a natural body. These course adjustments require energy, intent and awareness. In other words, this object isn't just moving through our solar system, it's navigating it. And when those paths were cross-referenced with historic observations of deep sky anomalies, some researchers believe this object, or something like it, may have passed near Earth before, hidden in ancient observations mistaken for stars or eclipses, as if this wasn't its first visit, as if it knows the way. While the James Webb focused on the spectral analysis of three atlases' coma, it made a discovery that's now being hotly debated behind closed doors. The object emits a spectral signature, corresponding to complex organic molecules, not uncommon in deep space. But what made this terrifying was the ratio and arrangement of those molecules. Instead of random dispersion, the data revealed a repeating chemical rhythm. Methanol, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, not scattered but layered, structured. The layering mimicked the pattern of protein folding found in terrestrial life forms. Now let's be clear, no one is saying three atlas is alive but the molecular order suggests design purpose. One fringe theory, now slowly entering mainstream circles, posits that these molecules may be part of a biological probe, not a message to be read, but one to be inhaled by a planetary biosphere. In short, a payload. And if Earth's atmosphere interacts with these molecules in just the right way, we may not have years to prepare. We may only have months. On a quiet morning in late July, the SETI Institute picked up a signal. Not from a star system, not from deep space, but from somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. It was brief, narrow band repeating, and when decoded into audio, it sounded eerily like a pulsed synthetic tone, similar to a rotating beacon, one used in early radar or submarine sonar. Normally, SETI would dismiss this as terrestrial interference, but they couldn't. The signal moved in sync with the trajectory of three atlas. As the object shifted slightly, so did the origin point. The signal wasn't coming from Earth. It was following the comet. For 17 minutes, this tone echoed through multiple observatories, then silence. When SETI attempted to triangulate, their systems experienced a total data crash. Logs were wiped, antennas misaligned, internal backups scrambled. And just like that, the story disappeared. The official explanation, a weather glitch. But the engineers involved have all signed NDAs. Some have quit. And one was recently hospitalized after claiming he had heard the signal in his dreams. The James Webb Telescope operates in infrared, capable of detecting heat signatures from billions of years ago. When pointed directly at three Atlas's nucleus, scientists expected to find a cold solid core typical of comets. Instead, they found a flat line, not low, not variable, but perfectly zero. This is impossible. Every object in space emits some infrared radiation, but three Atlas seemed to absorb and reflect nothing. It was as if it weren't there, or worse, as if it existed in a separate thermal dimension. This anomaly triggered a cross-check with other instruments, including ESA's solar orbiter. They confirmed it. The object's core was a void, reflecting no heat, no absorption spectrum, not even when blasted by solar wind. The only logical conclusion was horrifying that the object's core wasn't made of any known material, that it was cloaked or hollow or a projection. Some now believe what we're seeing may not be the object itself, but a shell, a decoy, a mask for something hidden behind frequencies. We don't yet understand something that's been watching us long before we had the tools to watch back, when researchers enhanced the image of three atlases coma using Fourier transformation and multi-spectrum filters, they stumbled upon a chilling phenomenon, hidden within the gas cloud, which should be random, was a repeating fractal pattern. Not once, not twice, but across every frame captured over a 17-day period. The pattern wasn't decorative. It was structured, geometric, 
and recursively nested as if the cloud were encoding information in the form of a visual algorithm. One team tried to map the fractal to known mathematical constants. The results aligned eerily with the golden ratio and Fibonacci sequences, both deeply rooted in natural order but also in human consciousness.